Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a new baby that I created for myself. I finished him last night um, at like 1am almost, but I'm really happy with him and I hope you guys enjoy him. So I actually don't have him covered with a blanket right now just because I felt like I could just turn him around and then turn him towards you. So here we go. Oops, he's slipping off the boppy. So he has a very different skin tone than the other babies I've created and I really like it. It's kind of olive-y and it kind of gives me an Italian vibe for this baby. Um, but here are the little feet. As you can see, he doesn't have a ton of mottling. I wanted it to be like really faint. He has some, but you can't really tell and I didn't want it to be really noticeable. I know it kind of makes his, his creases are a little unnoticeable too, but they are done. So he has full legs and I am going to be changing him in this video. So yeah, and then here's one of his hands. I don't know if you guys already know what kit this is. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know because I posted about him last night because I couldn't wait. But I'm really happy with him. I've been wanting to do this kit for a long time. I've been wanting this kit ever since I first saw the prototype. So it's been a while. This is an old kit. I'm really happy that I made him for myself and I'm really happy with my version. Okay, ready? So this is the Asher Awake kit. He has a magnetic pacifier and there's his little face. I gave him side glancing eyes and I also painted on his hair. It's like brown hair. And there's his little eyebrows. And then his hair, I'll just show you, that's kind of his hairline. And let me show you the other side. And then I will go around his head so you guys can see his really beautiful swirl. I really enjoy doing the hair, so I'm happy that I've been doing more of it. Gabe doesn't have any hair um, because I thought I, he looked really good bald, so Gabe is a baldy. But I like doing hair so I'll probably do hair on like all of my babies so there's this baby so I decided to name him Lucas so this is Lucas and he's really cute let me go grab his COI so I have number 664 out of 1500 and so that's the kit and there it's signed by Denise Pratt I actually ordered him from McPherson so I don't know why this is like Bountiful Baby. Well, she's from Bountiful Baby, but I actually ordered him from McPherson's. But I have the day that I made him yesterday at 12.53 a.m. He was finished. I didn't put in his weight and length yet because I didn't weigh him or measure him. I'm pretty sure he's 19 inches, but I, I should still measure just to be sure. But then I'm his artist, and that's my nursery, Little Mouse Nursery. So... It's really cute and I love how they have the little footprints and that's the real baby Asher. If you guys don't know what a real born is, they take a real baby and scan it and make it into a kit. Like, it's just, no one sculpts it really. It's like, scanned, basically. So yeah, so here he is. I'm gonna be changing him. This onesie's a little bit short. He can wear plain onesies as long as they're short sleeves. These sleeves are a little bit too short for him. I'm not sure why. It's kind of a tight onesie, but I went to Target today and I found this super cute outfit because my newborn boys need more clothes and so I found this and I want to put them in it. So it's got this really cute bear, like, um, th this part's kind of like quilted almost. Um, this is the shirt and then the pants have a bunch of little bears, <laughs> sorry I have hiccups now. And he, I have this hat, he might not wear it because that's a lot of grey, but I just thought that might look cute with his outfit. So we're going to change him into this. Oh, Lucas, you're going to get all changed up. So we're going to get Lucas all changed. He, I have him set to the same pacifiers as Shane, except his magnet is a little bit lower than Shane's, so Shane's pacifiers look a little weird on him. This one that I made for Shane, the pacifier is a little low, so it looks weird on Shane. So this is his. I'm going to get him some other pacifiers to make just for him, but I have to find some cute ones. I, there weren't any good um, boy pacifiers at Target today. I did find Raylan some really cute ones today though that I've been looking for forever. They're like some of the newer Tommy Tippy ones for the girls. Uh, one of them is pink and it has cats on it and the other one is like pink and black and it says I love you to the moon and back. So I got those for Raylan and she's wearing one right now actually. 
but I've been looking forever for those and I finally found them because like I would always find the other ones but I only wanted those specific ones and found them. So I was really happy, it was the last pack. But I gotta find him, I think he'll look really good with Nooks, like, um, I'm gonna steal this from Landon's mouth, like this pacifier shape looks really cute on his mouth. So um, I'll have to find him some Nooks. This is a really old Nook, it's kind of smaller. The one that I just stole from Landon is actually one of the 18 month size ones. I know Walmart usually has a good selection of Nook pacifiers, so I'll have to go check them out. But here we go, let's put him in this. He's a pretty good newborn sized baby. He's about like 20 inches, 19 or 20. So he's a good newborn size. Oh, he's so cute. I couldn't decide what I wanted him to wear today. And so I just kind of threw him in a onesie because I wanted to see how that would look on him. And it looked pretty cute, so I just kind of kept him in it. But I thought that instead of just doing a blanket reveal, it'd be more fun to change him too because also I wanted to put him in this outfit <laughs> there we go and then his shirt oh it has buttons on the back convenient to get over his big head his head isn't really that big <laughs> here we go buddy he's looking so cute right now still not sure if he's gonna wear the hat I'll try it on and if it looks weird then he doesn't have to wear it Let's lay him down, do a little tummy time so I can do the back of him. There. <laughs> oh, look at him. That looks so cute. <laughs> it looks like a turtleneck on him. Just a little pacifier. And then let's see how the hat looks. Oh, I think it looks sweet with the hat. We're gonna leave that on. I feel like he should have little socks too. I was considering it when I put them back, but I'm considering it again. Let's see. These ones are just white. <sighs> if we put like the pants over the sock. Does that look cute? That does look cute. Oh, but also no sock looks cute. I'm gonna go no socks. I think that looks cuter. And I love his skin tone. <laughs> I know I'm covering most of it up, but oh, he looks so sweet. So this is baby Lucas, and I hope you guys enjoy him. I'm really enjoying him. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna be painting again. Um, hopefully really soon. I have a few um, custom babies that I'm gonna be starting soon. I'm waiting on some kits to arrive, but hopefully I will do a baby that I can make to sell again, kind of like how I did Eliza. So I'll try and do like a baby like that again because people have been asking but thank you all so much for watching please click like and subscribe and in the comments let us know what you think of lucas i really love this baby and i hope you guys like him too we'll see you guys later bye